Hello, and welcome to the Purdue OWL. I'm Alyssa Fernandez, and in this video, I will explain how to write in-text citations according to the seventh edition of the APA Style Guide. Before getting into any specifics, however, let's first answer an important question. What is an in-text citation? An in-text citation is a reference that appears within the body of a paper that cites an external text via its author and year of publication. Each in-text citation should correspond to a reference list entry at the end of the paper. Thus, the in-text citation indicates to an interested reader where to look within the reference list to find the original source material. However, it is important to note that there are two ways authors can write in-text citations. In addition to parenthetical citations like the ones we've just seen, writers can also make something called a narrative citation. In parenthetical citations, the author and publication year appear within a set of parentheses that is usually placed at the end of a sentence. By contrast, in narrative citations, some or all of this information is placed within the sentence itself. As its name suggests, in parenthetical citation, the last name of the source's author and the year of publication appear, separated by a comma, within a set of parentheses. If you are borrowing the author's precise wording, that is, if you're making a quotation, you should also include a page number after the date, separated from the date by a comma. Use the abbreviation P period for one page and PP period for a range of pages. On the other hand, if you're paraphrasing an idea or argument from the source without using the author's precise wording, page numbers are optional. You might consider including them if you think they will help readers find a specific passage you've paraphrased in a complex work. In either case, the parenthetical can appear within or at the end of a sentence. If it occurs at the end of a sentence, place the period directly following the set of parentheses. In a narrative citation, however, the author's last name appears in the text of the sentence and the date appears in parentheses directly following the author's name, not separated by a comma. Just as with parenthetical citations, page numbers should be included if you're making a direct quotation. However, in this case, you should place the page number in its own parenthetical after the closing quotation mark, but before the period that ends the sentence. Sources with multiple authors have special rules, but don't worry, they're easy to follow. We're now going to quote directly from page 266 of the APA 7th edition manual. The format of the author element of the in-text citation changes depending on the number of authors and is abbreviated in some cases. For work with one or two authors, include the author names in every citation. For a work with three or more authors, include the name of only the first author plus et al, a Latin phrase meaning and others. In parenthetical citations for a work with two authors, use an ampersand between the names. In narrative citations, however, use the word and. Does that all make sense? To reiterate, if a work has two authors, use an ampersand to separate their names in a parenthetical and the word and in a narrative citation. If there are more than two authors, just put the first author's name followed by et al. Before we move on to more complicated cases, let's recap. Here is a look at the three different styles of citations that can appear within a text. Remember that you can use either parenthetical or narrative citations in the text as you please, or both, but every source that gets cited in the text should get a corresponding reference list entry. Now that we've covered the basics, let's move on to some examples of more complex in-text citations. To cite multiple works in the same parenthetical, place the citations in alphabetical order, separated by semicolons. Listing authors in alphabetical order helps readers retrieve sources in the reference list, where they will appear in the same order. You might cite multiple authors in the same parenthetical like this if you're trying to demonstrate that many independent sources have arrived at some shared conclusion. To cite multiple works by the same author, arrange the works by year, beginning with citations without a date and then moving forward in chronological order. In this case, you need only list the author's last name once. You might make this sort of citation if you're trying to demonstrate that an author has been writing about a certain topic or arguing a certain conclusion for a long time. To cite multiple works in which some author's names have been abbreviated to et al, 
Place the citations in chronological order, regardless of what order they appear in the reference list. Note that the last few examples assume parenthetical formatting. If multiple sources are referenced as narrative citations, they may appear in any order. To cite a specific part of a source, provide additional information about the specific part you're referencing, along with the standard author date citation. In addition to page numbers, which we've already covered, it's also possible to cite paragraphs, sections, forewords, chapters, timestamps of videos or audiobooks, and slide numbers within a slide deck this way. For religious and classical works within canonically numbered parts common across editions, cite these parts instead of using page numbers. To cite a source with an unknown author, simply place the title of the work where the author's last name would typically go. If the author is explicitly listed as anonymous, however, anonymous should take the place of the author's name. Follow all other citation conventions normally. When referencing a translated, reprinted, republished, or otherwise reissued work, you should list two dates in your in-text citation. First, the original publication date, followed by the reissue date, separated by a backslash. To cite multiple references with identical author or authors and publication year, include a lowercase letter after the year to distinguish between the works. This year-letter combination is used in the reference list entry as well. Finally, to cite multiple references whose authors share the same surname but have different initials, include the first author's initials in all in-text citations, even when the year of publication differs. This helps readers locate the correct works in the reference page. If the authors have the same surname and the same initials, just use the ordinary author date format, no initials. There you have it. All of the major rules for in-text citations in APA's 7th edition style guide. For further information, be sure to check out the other videos on our channel, as well as the resources available at owl.purdue.edu. Happy citing!